Hey boobs! No, your eyes do not deceive you. I am not sat in a junkyard. I am sat in my YouTube filming slash spare room. I'm about to sit here with no eyebrows and shatter your illusions of what my YouTube life is like. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! So this is it. This is where I film my videos. Not quite so glamorous, is it? This is our spare bedroom, and it used to, it's been many things over the years. It was Ben's gaming room, like it was just stacked with tellies and gaming consoles, and he moved them to a storage unit. So now I gained this room, and I was so happy to have it. But I had no idea what to do with it. Painted each wall a different colour and sat and used them as a background. Painted it purple and put a tapestry up on this wall. My tapestry that you have probably seen a million times. And then the white wall there. Basically, when I would come in and sit and film YouTube videos, I would just move the stuff out the way, sit down. I love sitting on the floor. Like I'm sat on the floor. I always sit on the floor. I would just move stuff out the way, sit on the floor, have my wall background and film and go and edit and try la 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 and then cry because I look awful in the video. I want this to be a relaxing space, a space where I can actually sit and chill, maybe even come in here to edit and have quiet time. I just want to make this room a really nice, a really nice place, a place that I want to be. So these are my plans for the room. This is my current purple wall where I film the majority of my videos. It's got the moon tapestry, which I plan to keep up. I'm going to paint it like a really grassy green. And then the back curtains, I want, I've bought voils, like the the neck curtains, I love them. I have a really awkward radiator and it's really small and it doesn't work. So I have a radiator cover that I'm gonna paint black and make a shelf out of that. And I'll put loads of, shel loads of shelves and pictures all around on the green wall too. So this is the back wall where the window is. This is the smallest wall of the whole room. This is gonna be gray. Like it's the same, it's actually the same paint that I have in my living room downstairs. So it's a quite a dark pewter gray. Bought a day bed. So it's like a sofa, um, like a kind of gothic -y sofa chair, but it was really cheap. And I'm going to put that in the corner there and I've got the window and I'm going to put some white voile up there with some blue fairy lights. So this is the last wall. This wall is, please, this is, and this is clearly the best drawing of all the, of all three. So please, please excuse my artwork. You wouldn't believe that I passed art in college with distinction, the highest mark, would you? Like I did so good in art and I cannot draw. So this is the wall that is to the left of me at the moment. And this is where my purple tapestry is. I bought some really nice, wallpaper for this. I've never done wallpaper in my life. And then this little bin, weird black hole ice cream cone thing is actually a table that I bought that looks nothing like that. And then I'm pretty much just going to put shelves and like I've got box shelves to go on this wall as well. Just I'm going to fill this wall, I think. The wallpaper is black and white and it's very patterned and I'm so excited for this one. And then at the bottom I have LED lights which I'm going to put all along the bottom and hopefully, I haven't tested them out yet, hopefully they will glow bright enough that you will see them when I sat down on the floor. So it'll look like I'm like farting purple lights or something. So these are my plans. My plans. So this is going to be a two part series. So today I am going to, let me turn you around. So today I'm going to be focusing on this wall and this back wall and chuck half of this away. I love building, I love DIY, I love it so much, it's so therapeutic. And then next week I will, because I'm still waiting for loads of stuff to actually arrive, so whenever all that gets here, which hopefully should be by next week, I will then film the second part of the video and I will put all the accessories and all the shelves and everything up and the wallpaper. <gasps> Wallpaper's coming from Germany. I'm pretty sure I haven't bought enough, which I'm gonna cry at if I haven't because it's taken so long to get here. But okay, right, stop whinging. Let's clear this shit hole and start decorating. <laughs> I have loads of random things in this room that I have put in here for when I decorate, for whenever that is. So I'm gonna chuck that all in this basket, which came from Papua New Guinea from Ben when he was a little boy. But I don't think clearing is gonna take as long as I thought it was. Like the room is actually really, really small. Perfect size to just for just filming stuff. Right, 
I'm gonna pop sister sister back on and get clearing. Mm. Oh, it's all echoey. Echo, echo, echo. I love you, I love you, I love you. Let's just be friends. So this is the wall here that's gonna go green. And then this wall, so you can see the blue. Look, I ran out of purple paint. Because when I initially painted this purple, it was to do lookbooks and have a nice background. And then I got to here and I ran out of paint. And then I just never, I never just went back and did it. I'm just so, I'm such a, I'm such a procrastinator. But not today! So this is the main wall I film in front of, and this is gonna go this color. I oomed and aahed so much about what green to put on this wall. I originally wanted like a really dark, gothic green, but my camera does not show up dark colors. So one wall in my bedroom is black, and every time I try and film in front of it, it just blurs me out, and I just, I just can't win. It's called Wise Grasshopper. Because I am, in fact, the Wise Grasshopper from James and the Giant Peach. I'm going to start painting this. I'm going to pop Sister Sister on. Petition for Netflix to get Keenan and Kel. Because I've binged Sister Sister and I now need Keenan and Kel. Is that you here? So we can keep the. So you know, so I know what I'm doing. A neighbor's just looking at me like, what the fuck is she doing? Hula hoop, I'm invisible hula hooping. Holy ho! Right, let's go, let's go. I've got a lot of shit to do today. Stop messing about, Emily. <laughs> I'm now gonna go around all the skirting board and the edges with a paintbrush while this dries and then I will do the second coat. I won't bother filming those bits. I might film some paintbrushing bits, you know, let you know that I'm actually doing it. Oh, my knees, I've got the knees. Jerry Springer. And then I will start on this gray background behind me. Progress. Banana tab. Do you do 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 So, banana break. First coat is done. It stinks. I'm gonna go see if we've got any more rollers. And then I'm gonna do the, this gray wall while the green's drying. And then I'll come back to the green when the gray's drying. And then hopefully it should work out all right. Eat your fruits and veggies, kids. The gray's not dry, I've just finished the gray. Ignore those edges, they are snatched. Now the green's mainly dry, the skirting board is still a bit wet, um, but I'm gonna go and do the green second coat. I'll leave the skirting board for later. And hopefully when I finish that, the gray will be dry and I can do that. I won't bother filming the second coats because I'm in the middle of the, um, the really sad episode of Sister Sister where their car breaks down in the city and it's a really deep episode. There's like the drug dealer and Tia gives this groomed child a card with the name of a shelter on it and he gets beaten up and it's, it's a really dark episode. I'm in the middle of that, it's my favorite episode. So um, I'm gonna pop that back on, do the second coat um, and then it'll be building time. I will turn into Bob the Builder. Right, second coat and sister sister. Bob. 
So next I'm going to open this bad boy. My radiator cover. So I have a little radiator there, which I'm sure you just saw. And it doesn't work. It's just pretty much an eyesore. And I didn't even realize radiator covers were a thing. I was just gonna chuck a blanket on it and forget about it. But then I found this on Google. I have no scissors, I have nothing to open this with. Open with blade. I don't have a blade. That will stop me. I can't. I was just having a chat with Ben about my lockdown DIYs. First lockdown, I DIY'd my dining room and I vlogged all that. Second mini lockdown, I did my stairs, which I didn't bother vlogging because I thought it was gonna be really easy. Um, but then it was done and it took ages. I was like, I should have vlogged this. And then third lockdown, now I'm doing my studio. Our kitchen is in the process of being done as well, but, but lockdowns keep pushing it back. So that vlog is coming as well. And then I have my bedroom to do. And then you'll get a house tour. <laughs> it's taken so long. But all these lockdowns have allowed me to actually focus and do work on my house. And I love DIY. It's so therapeutic. Like it stresses the fuck out of me. But it is so relaxing. Oh, polystyrene, really? Polystyrene is the worst thing for the environment. It's a little bit darker than on the picture, but that's fine, so I'm gonna paint it anyway. Oh, it's big. I don't know if it's gonna fit there. Apparently my measuring skills are not what I thought they were. Ah, oh, damn. So this is the front of it, and I'm gonna paint this all black, and then, because the, the radio is white, I figured it would be a really nice like contrast. You would just see these little white crossy things behind the black. And now I think it's gonna be too big for the radiator. Fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Um, okay, I'm still gonna, okay, I'm gonna carry on anyway. Polystyrene is the devil. Oh look, instructions. <laughs> like I'm gonna look at those. Do I own a screwdriver? That is the question. So, what I'm gonna do is oh, have an anxiety attack because there's so much polystyrene around me. So what I'm gonna do is build this first and then paint it black. Right, let's build me a radiator cover. Half done. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, I got this off eBay as well, I don't know if I said that, but it was really cheap, it was like 20, 25 pound. I still haven't measured it against the radiator yet, and I don't think it's going to fit. Maybe I should do that right now. Now, we're, we're not doing too bad so far. So let's move you out of the way. Now onto the sides, and then the top, and then I'm done. Wish me luck. Now let's see if it'll fit. Hello, Bureau de Change. I can give you three euros for one pound. Moment of truth. Just fits, like just. So now I'm gonna paint it black. Yo, yo, Belvita soft bakes. Green is done, gray is done, radiator cover is done. I'm going to build the bed. I say bed. It's like a sofa, it's called a day bed, a day bed, which is a posh way of saying a cheap 
bed, a cheap bed chair. Move the radio cover to the side, I think, and bring up my day bed. So this is the day bed. Uh, ben, lovely Ben just brought it upstairs for me. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be like Simpsons, isn't it? When Homer builds a barbecue pit. Oh, that's one fine looking day bed. <laughs> Why does it mine look like that? Let's get built on this bad boy. Never built one of these before in my life. This might be a little bit harder than I expected. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, wham bam, thank you ma'am. But it's a little bit more like wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. I want to give up now. <laughs> it's all good. I'm listening to R Slash. Do any of you listen to him? So I'm just going to pop some more of them on while I, while I do this. I'm sweaty and I'm tired and I'm very, very sexy. I take back everything I said about the chair bed. It's, it's massive. It's bigger than I thought it was. Even though I calculated it and I did my measurements. It's bigger than I thought. It's the growing at a shower. My initial scientific findings found that it reached from this wall to about here. Those findings turned out to be wrong. Actually, impact takes up the whole wall. I wanted more of like a little chair. But now, well, I suppose now we can have a nap. And now when my friends come around to stay, <laughs> what friends? Uh, they'll have somewhere to sleep. So yeah, I suppose it actually actually worked out all right. I'm gonna pretend like I did this on purpose. <laughs> this was my plan all along. I'll show you what it's looking like so far. There's one end and there's the other end. So I've got like the, the whole back done. Oh, I haven't got like the the top of the back done, spirey bits, but I'm now gonna move everything over here, this way. Probably should have done that first. Why did my hand look like Maleficent's shit? Move this back so that when it's done, I can just flip it up against that wall. Progress! a little bit bigger than I expected. I honestly thought it was gonna come from, like it was supposed to come to about here, which would make a really cute little, I mean, I'm not complaining. I have a full bed. I just have the, I put this one on upside down. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I'll flip this one over. That changes my plans a little bit because I have a table that was gonna go at the end because I thought this was smaller. My wallpaper's not here yet, so I won't be doing that today. But when I do, I'll just pull this out, turn around and do that. But that has changed things a little bit. I don't know. Um, uh, right now, I'm just gonna swap this over because I'm an idiot. tired and I'm sweaty and my tits are fabulous but I'm nearly done I've just got uh, I've just got the back bit to do now this is all done this is all done and to be honest like it, I don't know if that's gonna support my fat ass like I knew it was cheap but I thought it was small so now I'm just gonna do the back bit a bit and then I'm done. What else? Maybe build a table. I don't want to do too much now because this is bigger than I thought. I'm gonna have to move it when I when it comes to decorating these this wall, which I wasn't gonna do before because this was a lot smaller. Um, so that has put me in a little bit of a kerfuffle. I had a clothes rail I wanted to put up in here as well. That ain't gonna happen now, is it? Damn you, giant bed! Right, let's listen to more stories of Karen's and build this bed. How do I get out? 
Mission Impossible theme. Dun, 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 FBI, is it gonna hold my weight? Please don't collapse, please don't collapse. Oh! I don't know if I wanna sit on it. Don't say that very often. Because I am scared of my new bed, what I'm gonna do is turn it against the green wall. It is gonna stay here, but I'm gonna put it against the green wall for now, because sometime next week, I am going to be wallpapering this wall um, so it'll be easier to just move it now and then and I'm going to go get the mattress and put that on here. Maybe then it will hold my weight. <laughs> just have to leave it and then worry about the wallpaper next time, next time. Why did I do this? Why did I, I mean I didn't even measure it right did I? I've scratched all my paint. Little touch up. I'm gonna put the mattress on because the big box is taking up so much space downstairs. I need to get the box gone. There's a mattress in here. I'm hoping there is anyway, otherwise it hasn't come yet. It is, it says white budget on it. It's how I describe myself. Oh, be free. Oh, one, two, three, three. This mattress, be free. The neighbors are gonna be like, what the fuck is she doing now? Oh, my mattress is farting. You all right, love? Got some wind? I'll set you free. Don't you worry, Boo's got ya. Slice you open, let that gas out. As if it's an actual bed. <laughs> like I knew all along it was a bed. But now I'm like, Mofo, that's a bed. <laughs> I wanted a nice chair. Oh, that's nice. Please don't break, please don't break. Oh, fuck me, that's good. I might just take a nap. So, I'm gonna be like, sat in this, see, this is why I wanted a chair. So I'll sit like this when I film videos and we'll be like, really chill and down low and I'll have loads of cushions and things. I think it's gonna be nice. I've got a fucking bed. <laughs> Um, I might build my table and then call it a day. That was good timing. So there's my table, which is again is massive. I thought all this stuff was small. Postman just came. Are oh, you babe? Babe. I'm gonna go do this. Oh, sit down, sit down and chill. So this is the curtain that was up there and I'm gonna dye it black. I feel like I might have needed two of these. So I'm gonna go and put this in the washing machine now and hopefully it comes out black. I was so close to being done, but now I'm all excited again. Let's go. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. DIY vlog coming very soon. As soon as Corona like lets the kitchen man come around, I'll have a vlog of my kitchen. Oh, take me dirty pajama trousers out. Ready to use fabric dye. Well, it's not ready to use because I have to read stuff. Okay, put damp fabrics and unwrapped. Oh, so I've got to wet my, wet my curtain. Got to get my curtain wet. That's not hard. Okay. Oh, do I peel that off as well? Do I peel that off? Ooh. Why'd I smell it? You in the washing machine. Okay, so it's pretty easy. I just wash it. Okay. Let's go get me curtain all soggy and then I'll... Put it in the machine. My curtain's dripping, I think it's too wet, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So I just put that in and that goes in there and then I turn it on. Start. Okay, and then I think once it's done and hopefully it's black, I then put it on another wash with detergent and everything to just like rinse it through, I guess. Back upstairs. I'm so glad that that came. Oh, my back. 
mainly so that I had something a bit extra to put in my vlog. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a whole video of me painting my room, innit? And crying because I ordered a bed instead of a chair. And I got this off eBay. Why is it coming in an Amazon box? Suspicion intensifies. Let me shelves. You're for you're for the next video. Just gonna build my table and then that's it. Which is a lot bigger than Do you know what? I swear I was measuring these. If this is too big though, I have a table downstairs in my dining room, like if you watch that vlog, like a little black glass table my mum gave me. So if this is too big, what I might do is put this downstairs, like bring that table up here. Do you wanna build a table? Whoa. Come on, it's bigger than I thought. Oh wait, that is just the leg. Oh wait, I see the head. It's bigger than I need. The table's not actually that big, but I think I still might steal the one from downstairs. So let's build this mofo. That's me done. It's been a long day. It's been about six hours. All right, okay, that's not a super long day, but I've been doing this for about six hours. My curtain is hopefully going black. I painted the green, I painted the grey, I built a mofo bedio that was supposed to be a chair. Maybe it's a transformer, maybe it'll turn into a chair. <laughs> a stink, I'm covered in paint. I look like a moose and I need a shower. So that's it for part one of my DIY vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, it's been really fun. I love DIY, it's so that my neighbours are banging. I mean, to be fair, I've been banging and singing all day, so it's probably a bit calmer. Oh, my gin. My gin's knocked over. Pick that baby up. Priorities. I'm going. Oh, I did my radiator cover. I did that as well. So next time I have my wallpaper to do, which I've got to somehow fit in this tiny gap. I mean, I should be able to do it, like the roll, I mean, for the strips. I should be able to do it, because I can't get my transformer bed chair out. Let me come back over here, it's comfy, bro. That's pretty much the biggest thing I have to do. Um, and then I have some shelves to build and paint, a chair to put in. It's pretty much just aesthetic things next time, like I have to dress the bed, make it inviting for you. So I've got loads of lights and loads of shelves and things and pictures to put up. I do have a clothes rail, but I don't think that's gonna fit in here now. I have made this room so much smaller. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible, but it's all good, it's all good. That's one thing I'm very thankful for with lockdown is that I have been able to get my house finally sorted. When I'm at work and I have a child, I can't do that. But thankfully, Ben is Ben's still working during lockdown, but he's off today and he's been doing Violet's schoolwork with her while I've been able to do this. Big high five for Ben, big high five. That's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you very soon with part two of my DIY vlog. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs>